first impression the launcher makes on your church's website is via the launcher button. So let's talk about the design customization options you'll want to consider here, starting with the color of the button. By default, the color of the launcher button matches the color found inside the launcher itself. And that's generally our recommended approach. However, if you do want to change this, you can do that under the trigger button tab. Just click choose custom and select a color or input your hex code and the launcher will grab the hue and make it look great. Sometimes people like to use this to match or contrast with other button colors on their site to draw more attention. Once installed, the launcher button, and thus the launcher, will load in one of the bottom corners of your website, but it's up to you which side, left or right, that it loads on. If you need to apply precise adjustments for how close to that corner the button loads on, you can do that. However, this is an advanced concept, and for most people, you don't need to and probably should not adjust this setting. That being said, if you need to customize the placement, this is done by adding a value to the bottom and side offset. A positive value will move it away from the bottom or side, while a negative value will move it closer. Now, this can be useful if you have other widgets that load on your website, such as an instant chat bubble, let's say, so you can have them both load in the same corner but not load on top of each other. The Z index is a bit of a different element, though it can also be adjusted with positive and negative values. Now, think of it this way. Your website consists of several layers. Each layer has a particular Z index, letting your browser know which elements to load in front of the other Others. Adding a positive value will load the launcher button further in front of other elements, while negative values will load it behind other elements, which does have the potential of hiding your button, so watch out. And I'll stress here again that unless you need to, for instances like having multiple widgets loading on your website, we recommend leaving these fields completely blank. The launcher is already set by default behind the scenes to load very high in priority so it doesn't get covered up by other elements. However, if your website has custom settings or other configurations, you can adjust the Z index here as needed. The last setting to customize in the trigger button tab is the launcher button icon. And while we're personally partial to seeing the Nucleus N logo on every launcher button, because it stands for next steps. We've also provided a few other options that might be helpful for visitors on your website to identify the button. To change the icon on the launcher button, simply click on the icon that you'd like to use. Once you've selected a logo, make sure to click Save Changes. Of course, if at any time you want to preview the launcher to see these visual changes that you've made, you can do that by clicking Preview in the top right-hand corner.